In this video, I am going to tell you how a juggler played a part in one of the most famous moments from British history. But first, we're going to go to a castle. So, all my adult life, I've been a professional juggler. I mean, every so often I've stretched and warped what I consider juggling, and I've tried new things here and there, but essentially, at my heart, I consider myself a juggler, first and foremost. And if you don't believe me, then go and check out my YouTube channel, though I'm not sure why anyone would lie about being a juggler. Oh, and while you're there, subscribe. Now, I didn't devote my entire adult life to developing a career as a juggler in order to be famous. I'm not an idiot. I know famous juggler isn't a thing. If you meet someone at a party and they ask what you do and you're an actor, then they will pretty much always say, and would I have seen you in anything? If you're a comedian, then they might say, oh, I've got a joke for you. But if you meet someone at a party and they ask what you do and you say, I'm a professional juggler, the usual and likely response is something along the lines of, uh... Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. But a juggler did have a star part in one of the most important moments in history. And I'm not talking about the juggler that Ivan the Terrible used to make do his act during his sex parties. Anyway, I'd like to tell you about Talifa. Talifa was William the Conqueror's personal juggler because that was a gig that used to exist. The date was October 14th, 1066. King Harold had around 8,000 men positioned about six miles from Hastings. They stood prepared for battle in long lines, their shields interlocked to form an impenetrable wall. William of Normandy faced them with roughly equal numbers ready to charge. The tension must have been incredible. And then at precisely that moment, Talifa, the Leroy Jenkins of the 11th century, broke ranks. He rode toward the English army, singing a song and juggling his sword. An English soldier ran out to challenge him and Talifa killed him. So, to be fair, 10 points for effective heckler control. He was then set upon by the entire English army and killed, which seems about right. So here's to Talifa, someone so desperate to show off their new trick that they think the best time to do it is as the warm-up act to an actual war. I think we can all relate. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed that. As you heard in the video, I'm a live stage performer, which means that because of the COVID pandemic for the last year, the only venue still open to me is YouTube. So it would mean a lot if you'd subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram and share this video with anyone that you think might enjoy it. And if you want to support my work, then please do check out my Patreon. Thanks a lot, I'll see you next time.